Aconcagua holds a special place in my heart. I've done 30 expeditions there. I spent years of my life on Aconcagua. I, I absolutely love it. I love the people, the, the Argentinian culture. It's uh, relatively straightforward climbing, so you're not on edge as much as you might be on Everest or Denali. But it's the tallest peak outside of the Himalayas. So if you really want to challenge yourself at extreme altitude, uh, prepare yourself for an 8,000 meter peak. This is the climb you need to do. We stage for Aconcagua out of Mendoza, Argentina in the austral summer. So typically between late November and the end of February. And the weather throughout that season is generally the same. We drive about three hours up to Penitentes and then we trek into the mountain, uh, three days trek in and then a day uh, trek out at the end of the expedition. You know, a lot of teams will climb what's called the normal route. They go in the, uh, the Horcones Valley. It's uh, more crowded, uh, it's less aesthetic. That's the fastest way to climb the mountain, but we like to do what's called the 360. So we actually walk in the Bacchus Valley uh, on the other side of the mountain and then climb to the summit. Uh, we connect in with the normal route at high camp and then drop down the other side of the mountain after summit day and then hike out uh, the, the opposite side of the mountain. So it allows us to see the entire mountain, um, but it allows us to climb a more beautiful side of the mountain so we get better views. And it's just a, just a better experience uh, overall and less crowds so we're not fighting for those spots at the camps en route. Aconcagua is not a technically difficult peak. So in terms of prereqs before climbing the mountain, um, you don't need any technical climbs on your, under your belt. What you do need, however, is some experience at altitude. So some of these moderate altitudes like the Ecuadorian volcanoes or Kilimanjaro or Elbrus, climbs like that are perfect stepping stones for Aconcagua. If you haven't tested yourself at altitude at all, you need to first embark on those stepping zones before stepping up to nearly 7,000 meters. So that's really the greatest difficulty with Aconcagua is that extreme altitude at nearly 7,000 meters. Generally, the, the most common injury you'll see are altitude issues like, um, if not just AMS, acute mountain syndrome, um, you've got pulmonary edema, cerebral edema. So these are things you really need to look out for. And uh, you know, if you're down there climbing on your own or with a guide, you need to know what these signs and symptoms of these high altitude ailments are so that you can uh, pick them up be before they become a big problem. You don't need a lot of technical gear for Aconcagua, but what you do need is cold weather gear. Uh, don't underestimate the cold, especially on summit day. With those winds and those um, pre-sunrise temperatures, it's, uh, it's incredibly cold, especially with the rarefied air at nearly 7,000 meters. So you need a proper warm glove layering system. Uh, you need a nice warm double or triple insulated boots, and you need a nice big warm parka. You really wanna do your homework on the type of team that you're joining. You know, our reputation, both on Aconcagua and elsewhere around the world, are based on safety and success. So we're hugely invested in uh, getting our clientele to the top, giving our teams every opportunity to be successful, but also being safe. So I think that's the most important thing. Really do your homework before you sign up for an expedition. Know uh, what you're getting before you sign up, because if you're, if you're used to one level of service, and you get another, you're gonna be upset. So for Aconcagua, you need to be able to carry a heavy pack for many days on end. Uh, essentially what we're doing is we're double carrying our way up the mountain. And that just means that carry up to a camp, drop a load, come back down, move up the following day. So packs are generally 40 to 60 pounds, 20 to 30 kilos and you're carrying that day after day. You need to train at home by carrying a heavy pack and do that multiple days in a row. Up and down, Stairmaster is great, but actually getting out into the backcountry where you can get a lot of vertical, that's ideal.